what, what the mate is talking about. Who set that versus thing up with Babyface? Who called you first? Uh, Swiss, Swiss, and um, and and and, and Tim, you know, it was sent to them. Initial reaction. <laughs> my initial reaction, you already know. What my initial reaction it was, was, it was like, yo, listen, we from New York, we don't back down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and that's how, you know, they got faced to do it because we we really didn't turn it into a competition until last few days we had to you know we had to go into beast mode mm -hmm. and he came out with the gloves you know had the dog on intro i had the dog on you know uh magic johnson with the fur and then i had um i had a bunch of memes that i did you know with him being um jordan and me being lebron right <laughs> so so i um go ahead he he they put it together and they asked him, they asked me first and I said, you know, listen, I'm from New York, you know, we, we don't back down. So if y'all want to put it together, let's put it together. You know, just let me know what level we at because, you know, I can't be nice, you know, be nice. And, you know, he go at me like, yo, I'm, I'm going to knock his socks off, knock him out, that, that type of thing. But we were, we respect each other so much, you know, and, but we had to make it look like it's, it's really a competition, but the winners are the audience. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, what I want to know is, yes, the audience are the winners, but you and Babyface won big time too. Because for those people that may have not been familiar with y'all, these new people, y'all pretty much, you know, y'all made enough noise for them to say, man, I like what these guys are doing. And mm -hmm. what I want to know is how much of an impact did that versus battle have on your life? Huge impact. And I'll say this. Being in the same room on the same stage with such an incredible guy like Babyface, who I consider as the number one writer in my book of all times. Um, and hey, Stevie, and from there, what's that? The head of Stevie Wonder and Smokey Robinson? Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have to say it. And I'll tell you why. Right. I mean, I love Stevie. That's like, that's Uncle Stevie. Stevie is amazing. But I have to say this. And Smokey is amazing. Smokey is like, like my uncle. They're amazing. But I'm talking about of like our time who's still doing it. Okay. Who have probably surpassed uh, Stevie and smoky on writing songs you have to say who have the most in their catalog oh you're gonna make me look this up <laughs> you're gonna look it up and you'll see <laughs> babyface got a catalog yeah I would, I would. that's why i was like i was a little afraid i was nervous because he could pull out some joints and you know i can hang a little but trust me he have the Rolls Royce. i have the bentley <laughs> the Rolls Royce is gonna go longer because he have more songs, you know, than me. Uh, yeah. So, so it looks look like it I'm, I'm gonna have to do a little digging to find that out. But uh, look it up when when you get a chance. Look it up and you'll see. I did I did the homework. Now there's songs that Stevie have that he never released. He have over two thousand songs, but I'm talking about what's out. Mm -hmm. Babyface probably have the most. It's between him and Diane Warren. Diane who? Diane Warren. Really? Yes. Man, I didn't know she made that, that many songs. Look, look that, up that, Diane Warren. <laughs> and look up, look up, Babyface, you, and look up Stevie. Man, you got me. Look up what's the name? Most, most of Stevie's songs is with Stevie. Now you got to think, Babyface did what three, maybe three Whitney Houston albums. What? How many Tony Braxton albums? How many of you got to think about all of that? Like the same with me. 
if I if I was counting all the outside artists, see, because Stevie he did a few outside artists. If you think about it, if you look at it, he did all everybody on Motown that Barry Gordy would put him on. The same thing with Smokey, but see, Babyface. He could work with anybody. He didn't. He wasn't stuck under LaFace. Right. I wasn't stuck under Future Records. You know what I'm saying? I had. I worked with Bobby, who wasn't on my label. I worked with uh, uh, Jay Z. Mm -hmm. I worked with everybody, just like Babyface. But he had the most. He had the whispers. He had. Uh, 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 I think um, the deal. Mm -hmm. And let's move on. He's got a lot of the groups. He got. He still got a song today with Beyonce. Right, right. So that's how you got to look at it on his inside and outside projects. Right. Trust before, me. Before we get too far down the mm -hmm. road, uh, away from this battle thing, I want to go back and revisit that. Come on. And get an answer from you on what exactly happened that night with the audio? Like, what was going on? I'll tell you, um, we had it all set up, man, to do. See, my whole thought was, I'm going to do these 20 songs. But what I should have did was do it right here. And then say, yo, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to jam 25 or 50 more songs, however long y'all have me. Because my plan was to do an after party. You know, after we give a show, we have an after party. Mm -hmm. So I said, Dag, I want to take everybody back online. I wanted to take everybody back to the clubs where you had the club. After the party, there's the after right. party. Right. And after the party, there's an after party. Right. So <laughs> this shit just didn't turn out that way. Excuse me, everybody. But I'm going to tell you something, man. <laughs> I'm tell you something. I was so I, I, I salute you. <laughs> I salute you for even wanting to give the fans more because most people would have just laid back and, and, and done it that way. Now, hindsight is twenty twenty. You know, it's easy to say, oh, after it didn't work, oh, he tripped out, he was doing too much. Now, had it yeah. worked, everybody would have been like, oh, Teddy Riley's a genius. I yeah. A genius. It was this, great, man. He, he mean, gave us way more than we anticipated. That's yes. what would have happened had it worked. But, but no one didn't understand it that way. Yeah. It was just the memes after memes after memes. Oh, and, man, boy, they was but, like, they was like you know, the memes, dog. But, but you know what? Yeah. Sometimes you got you to gotta be careful what you ask for. So, you know, I've been always saying to myself, I've never been roasted. And I've seen, like, my friends get roasted, you know, from Andre Horrell to doggone Flavor Flav, who's my good friend, you yeah. know, um, to uh, who else? Um, Dave Chappelle. All these guys have been roasted. I'm like, dang, why well, don't never get roasted? Right. So, you know, that well, you was a roast up, right there. Look at you made up for all them damn roasts. All the damn <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, they, well, look, look, man, I woke up the next morning, them damn memes was everywhere. Memes, videos. <laughs> like, I'm like, damn. But you know what? Most people were still, they was laughing and, and everything. But most people were still very, very respectful of you as an artist. Like, they was like, still like, man, that's, that's the legend. And anybody that got out of pocket too much, somebody would go, yeah, in. But the somebody thing, would go in on me like, hey, man, that's the legend, man. Show some respect now. You know? That was, yeah, I think, I think Charlemagne, I think Tyrese, and all of them for standing up. But I felt like, you know how you, you, your brother, you know your brother can handle that fight. Right. I felt like they kind of stood back when they seen me going along with it and and just, you know, embrace it. Because when you can't be some, you join it, or you just get the hell out of the way, just go away. Right. <laughs> and I wasn't trying to go away, especially if I had to come right. back and do another battle. Right. It's like, yo, go along with it. And then my, my son's mother, she was like, if you embrace it, you'll see a difference and you'll see how even more famous you will be. Right. And I listened to her and she said, your embrace had turned you from 70% to 
disliked, 70% joked to 91% loved. Absolutely. And that was from CNN, uh, the analysts, from IG. It was like, we've never seen nothing like this ever in history for you, uh, an artist, to embrace memes and become more famous than he's ever been. Yeah. And 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 I, I didn't know until you gotta follow somebody, you know, because when that instance you it's like, dang, either what am I gonna do? Do or die or ride or die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I, I just rode with it, you know, and, and it turned out to be a great thing. Now we're doing business with the memes. Yeah, we're we, doing business with the memes. It's like, yo, Spice Adams, that's our boy. And salute to Spice Adams, man, because he keeps. Yo, he's the number one. Like, I like, want to do a memes award. We should yeah. do a memes award. And, yeah. and, 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 you know, being that. I saw, you know, I you, saw that video also, the Spice Adams video. <laughs> yo, how yeah. about, how about he turned yeah. them joints around in like less than 15 minutes? Yeah. He turned them joints around and have on the same thing I have on. Even the time when I was like, yo, I want to think. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what is Yo. going on, man? He's like, I, I, I want to think. Like, I was like, <laughs> yo, I, 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 I had to repost it because this, this guy, man, he's so talented, and I hope to do more work with him, which we're working on right now because um, we're working on a TV show, the New Jack Swing comedy. You know what I'm saying? With, with skits, you know, sort of like Dave Chappelle, we're gonna marry it. And I want him on it. That's the I want him on it because he deserves it. All the memes, even the one with the, the young lady who looked like baby face. She had the, the nose and all. And she had the hair. <laughs> I was like, what? And then me on the bottom, she had me with the bald head. And she had this thing on her head to make her head look bald. I'm like, yeah. how did they do this? And how it did they go to the store people. and get the bald head? It is some creative people, man, on social media, bro. It, yeah. This generation, man, it is a lot of creative people out there. And it was beautiful to see, man. It, this was really good for the culture, man, especially a time yeah. this, with dealing with this coronavirus pandemic. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for everybody to just fall back, and it was a sense of community, family, and, you know, people got to just, just forget about this stuff, you know, just for a few hours out of the day. Yeah. And just laugh, you know, have some That's what fun. I wanted to see, you know, kind of remind us, you remember when we used to have the doggone fire hydrant, we shoot the water, right. you know what I'm saying? It right. was like being, having that and everybody from around the way just like participate. Right. So the laughs, all of the different emotions, you know, especially when we were playing the music, it, it really took a lot of our, our people back, you know, where they were. You know, some were very emotional when certain songs played. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they lost that loved one. You know what I'm saying? And I was so happy to know that it touched people in that way, mm -hmm. you know, because in, in this, in this instance with this whole, you know, COVID tragedy and all this stuff going on and people have nowhere to go or, you know, they're afraid to go certain places or, you know, they're told to stay inside. You got to make them, you got to get them in, 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 engage. And that's what I wanted to do was engage the folks. That's why I gave the concert, you know, with Black Street. Right. And, um, you know, all the stuff that I'm doing, we have a series of concerts coming up and I can't wait for you all to see it. All I'm just saying is be careful of the baby making because me and Key Sweat, we're going to hit the stage in a couple, a couple of weeks. Hit the stage where? I'll show you. This is one of our places. Uh, I have the stage here in my house and he has the stage in Atlanta. And uh, we're doing, um, we have a couple of concerts that we put together with him and myself. SWV is going to do a week, but this is the stage, the actual stage. And, and how will people be able to watch it? Uh, on, our, on, on our site. We actually, uh, we're with iHeart and, and IG. So you would go to IG, IG, um, 
I don't know how they're doing it, where you swipe up or whatever, and then you go to our site. Wait, yeah, and it's free. Yeah. Everything is free. Right. You know, I have a dope concert, and we're talking about just, you know, it's the lights and everything right. in the living room. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.